At the University of California, San Diego, stands an unassuming building. However, this structure is quite unique. The five-story multi-use building was built on a state-of-the-art earthquake shake table to help researchers understand the impact of a seismic event and subsequent fire on the fully outfitted non-structural components and systems inside. This landmark project, which was funded by the National Science Foundation, brought together numerous government agencies, academic institutions, and more than 45 leading industry partners, all in an effort to assess product performance, validate design codes, and improve building safety. Hilti is proud to have been the sole provider of a wide range of fastening and protection systems for this project, including anchors, powder-actuated fasteners, screws, strut, cast-in fire stop devices, and fire stop sealant, all to help get the job done. Research and development is very much anchored in our corporate strategy. Product leadership, market reach, operational excellence, people and culture, those are the four key imperatives of our strategy and by that are very much reflected in group purpose and mission statement. Hilti has been involved with this project since, the, since really from the very beginning. In the summer of 2006, we had just uh, completed a successful series of tests on anchored piping systems in a full-scale structure together with uh, UCSD and the project team realized that there was a much larger opportunity and need to understand the interactions between non-structural systems in a building as well as the post-earthquake fire performance. Partners like Hilti are critical to the success of a project like this. They bring to the project their expertise both from the research and product perspective. They bring to us their knowledge regarding product installation, the type of products that are commonly used in the field. They bring as well their contributions to the regulatory area. It's a give and take relationship, really. We're testing a wide range of, of earthquakes. These are real historical earthquakes that have happened either in North America or in South America. And these earthquakes have been scaled up in amplitude to match or based on the design of the building. We're really expecting that these acceleration forces are going to put the support systems to the test. We have uh, several different designs in there and some of them we hope to see some signs of failure, some uh, stress on some of the systems so that we can better uh, design and work around those failure modes. I do expect that we will have some significant insights into the way our design codes work and I think for the first time ever, we are going to get some insight into the performance of passive fire resistant systems under post-earthquake fire conditions. There is two components to the test really, looking at the motion and the impact of the motion on the non-structural systems and then the fire test. Doing a fire test in conjunction with the earthquake test is important for a couple of reasons. First, nobody's actually done it before, so we don't have any data on the post-earthquake fire performance of a building. We're getting a, a lot of data from these tests, and the review of this data is ongoing. We have huge, huge amounts of data to go through. All of the data from this project will be made public as part of our commitment to the National Science Foundation. The information that we're going to get out of these tests are going to change the way that non-structural components are designed and possibly change building code requirements for seismic design of non-structural products. This project has been amazing. You just feel so much pride in the project. People, people are just pouring their soul into it. I think it's very telling that Hilti has put so many people, their time, and financial resources towards this project. I think it shows the commitment that Hilti has to moving the industry forward this is a tremendous cross-functional team effort. So I would like to take the opportunity to thank all our academic partners, the industrial partners, and from other authorities which really made that project happen. 